Let's see here. Let's do this. Why do I have to be in it? Because you're. <laughs> well, we made it back up here today. Uh, it's a little cooler weather, so we're going to try to clear some of this stuff out of the uh, basement area there behind us. Get some of the junk out of there. We got quite a bit of work we want to do in there too. And I think we're going to also try to get the carpet out of upstairs and some of the tack strips that we left there the other day since we got the trailer. We brought the dump trailer with us today. I've already put a couple things in there while we was messing around and I think we're about ready to go. What do you think, Lisa Kay? Ready to go. Ready to go? All right, we got a lot of junk and a lot of nasty junk to pull out of there. And we don't even know what some of it is, but we're going to get it out of there. So. And if there are any snakes, I'm out of there. I won't be helping. <laughs> well, there's spiders, so. I don't care. Spiders are okay as long as they don't get on me, but. Okay. Snakes, so, I will not do. So you'll be you'll take care of spiders if I see them. Uh, smash them. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to relocate them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not into relocating? Not into relocating. Okay. Well, let's snakes get... are in there, I'm out. <laughs> well, I might be too. Depends on what kind they are. <laughs> Not crazy about them. They would be relocated, some of them. Yeah. Some, maybe not. Okay, let's get at it. Okay.
filling up the shopping cart. Are you gonna throw it away? I don't know. I'm gonna use it right now. That's good. I'm gonna play grocery store. Okay. up on aisle 12. That's probably aisle 13. Probably. Stone. Oh, that doesn't on them. Undum. U N D U M brand. It's all one grid anyway. It's used quite a bit. You could fit in a toolbox or something somewhere. Mm-hmm. Green light special on aisle seven. We did find a few things to keep in here. Uh, I kept a few pieces of the lumber, just uh, stuff that was up off the ground and hadn't been wet like the other. I don't know, there was some space heaters and some electrical wire and electrical uh, extension cords and and that dusted on light over there seems to be good. It plugs in and works, so. Um, we went around here and got it all out best we can for right now. Um, there's some insulation there left and um, just odds and ends on the floor. There was a tarry looking stuff that was dumped there. Lisa covered with dirt. But as far as the majority of everything, I need to get that a coil out of here and load it, I guess. Uh, it was the old one that come out with the old furnace, I suppose. This shelving's all gonna go away also. We've got a load today, so we're gonna finish this out another day and uh, probably 
give the floor a good scrubbing and I think we're gonna do some re-insulating and fix this ceiling in here and put a wall about where that uh, bench is at so that's something we'll be doing I'll probably pour a little concrete stem wall across there and then build something up on it and uh, out of lumber on up and seal it off we're going to get back up in there in the crawl space and hopefully put plastic down and get that covered and and those insulation places fixed and i think probably run new plumbing from the other end that uh, master bath is all the way at that end of the house so probably run new plumbing from there and replace all this as you can see it's got duct tape holding it together there and i don't know they've got a little bit of everything used in here and it's just pretty uh not very good shape so it's going to get all that replaced before we're done and um so got a lot of stuff out of here that old furnace was sitting there um file cabinet was over there there's our new pressure tank and that they just come and replaced so it's it's better than it was it's got a long way to go but we're getting there. Just a lot of elbow grease and sweeping. So there's a trailer load of junk that come out of the that little area. What do you think, Lisa Kay? I think it's better. It is better. This stuff's going back in though. That's a dehumidifier that sits in there and runs and I, it's it works good but i've got a leak that i need to fix i kind of halfway fixed it and thought i might get by with it for a while but it's not holding them i've got to find something better a better way of fixing it so this stuff's going back in that door's going to go away but i don't want it on this load too much glass there and so we have Got a fire going up there. We burn off a, a lot of the old lumber that was in there that was had been wet and had rotten. It had dried out now, but you could t it had, this wasn't any good. It looks it was just rotten. Yeah, moldy. Moldy looking. So we sorted through it. We kept some of that lumber, and uh, we're going to maybe use it on this door. We did buy a. We went to Habitat for Humanity at the uh, what is it? The resell it or re resale store anyway whatever they call that and found a fiberglass door that we're going to be able to cut down and put in this uh, spot going into this basement area it's can't won't take a full-size door so it's got to be about 65 inches tall so we're going to cut that down and try to get it back up here and i'll have to build a, a frame for it and a jam basically and and i still got to get a threshold to put under it so that's coming pretty soon that and a wall in there and then we'll be Hit and miss, depending on the weather and the temperature, we'll be back upstairs. It was cool enough today and had been raining. It was a good day to burn and be out here working. And so another day will probably be hotter here. This isn't going to last long and we'll be back inside working. So hit the like button, bang on the subscribe button, and come back and see us sometime. <laughs>